Hello. I'm going to be testing if frame rate is linked to rate of fire. Now here I have three weapons, two of which are semi-automatic, one of which is select fire. Both of these semi-automatic weapons I'm using both fire 762 by 39, and the one which is select fire fires 545 by 39. The Vepr has a 30 round magazine, and the SKS has a 20 round magazine. The AK-74N has a 60 round magazine. These are going to be important later for calculation. What I'm going to be doing is limiting my frame rate. I'm going to be test firing these weapons on multiple different FPS, frames per second. I am going to lower my frame rate from its limited 120 to 60 frames per second. And after that, I will be lowering it to 30 frames per second, eventually down to 15 frames per second. And we're going to see how long it takes to empty the magazines. I have a Razer Synapse macro, which fires every 0.02 seconds to reduce any delay and bring our semi-automatic weapons to near full auto. This will help us to determine the rate of fire maximum based on frame rate. Here we're going to be testing the Vepr on 120 frames per second. I'm going to say bang when I start to fire, because at lower frame rates there will be a difference between starting fire and the time it actually takes for the gun to shoot. So here we go. Now as you can see, that was fairly decent, even though the recoil, as most of you know, is pretty bad. Okay, my headphones just kicked in. I'm going to Reva Tuner Statistics Server, and I'm going to be frame capping at 60. I'm now locked to 60 frames per second. Now as you can see, the render in milliseconds has increased quite a bit. It is now a orange number. Now, I'm going to be shooting at this wall again, with another 30 round magazine. Bang! For some of you, you may have already noticed a difference in rate of fire. I'm now going to be reducing my frames to 30. We're now at 30 frames per second, and we have basically doubled our renders in milliseconds. And now, here we go. Bang! Now you may have noticed, it took quite longer in comparison to 60 and 120 frames per second. Going to fill up our final magazine for 15 frames per second. Bang. Now that was pretty insufferable. I'm going to turn off the frame cap and switch over to the SKS. I'm now going to empty the magazine of the SKS. All right. I'm now going to lower my frame cap to 60. I'm now going to lower it to 30. Bang. And now, for 15 frames per second. Bang. Now that was pretty bad. That is a huge difference between 120 FPS, 60 FPS, and even 30 FPS. I'm going to turn off my frame cap. Now, I'm going to ditch this gun. And pick up one of these. 
And now we have a weapon which doesn't rely on how fast the player can click. We now have the weapon on full auto. And I'm going to proceed as I have been. Pretty decent. I'm now going to lower my frame cap to 60. Bang. Okay. I'm now going to reload again. And while doing so, lower my frame rate to 30. Now for the final reload, I'm going to lower to 15 frames per second. Bang. No, I don't know about you, but that definitely felt longer than 120 FPS, 60 FPS, and 30 FPS. Entering 15 frames per second, or anything around it or below it, is usually never a good thing for combat. And now, for good giggles, I'm going to lower my frame rate to 2. 2 frames per second. Now, as you can see, this is very, very bad. I'm going to try to empty this 60 run magazine into that wall. Now I'm going to say bang when I click, as always. Let's see how long it takes. Bang. No doubt you've noticed a difference 